Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the Pre-Search Keyword Staking webinar. Excited to uh, have you here and in our community. Lots of amazing things going on with Pre-Search these days, and uh, this is just the first of many uh, webinars where we're going to be able to start uh, telling the world about all the awesome stuff you're doing. Uh, can everybody hear me? If you don't mind, uh, just post a message in the chat. That would be fantastic. Excellent. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, so we're shoot shooting for about an hour here. We're going to cover a broad range of topics related to uh, keyword staking, and there will be a question period at the end. So uh, I will take questions and look forward to those. Let's see here. Looks like we're about ready to go. I think we're uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Excellent. So thanks uh, so much for joining us and for your interest in PreSearch. My name is Colin Pape and I am the founder of PreSearch. Uh, you can reach me with the contact information that you see on the screen. Uh, really excited about this opportunity to steward this project and to interact with so many amazing people that have joined the PreSearch community over the past couple of years. Uh, this is a really big development for us and uh, really excited to uh, show you how it works. Uh, so this is what we're going to cover today. First, going to uh, do a little bit of an introduction to uh, PreSearch and what we're up to. Uh, talk a little bit about the community and the audience, the people that are using PreSearch. Uh, then we're going to uh, look at the search platform. I'll show you how that works, and then we're going to dive into keyword staking, which will tie us then into the opportunity to use the platform, and then we'll wrap up with a Q and A. So. Uh, here we go. Uh, so what we're doing here at F Research is we are building a decentralized search engine. Uh, we're based in Canada. We've been uh, working on this now uh, for a couple of years. Uh, and really kind of what spurred uh, pre-search to life was, was really this chart. If you, if you see this, you know, 90% of searches are going through a single entity. It's kind of really become the gatekeeper to the internet and uh, it's a little bit concerning for those of us who've been around for a long time and seen really this consolidation of, uh, and concentration of power on the web. Uh, we had an intimate experience with uh, this concentration of power back in 2011 when we woke up one day and a whole bunch of our websites were blocked and had been uh, manually penalized and put onto page eight of Google. And it really made us realize that for being such a powerful and all-encompassing resources, there was really kind of a, a lack of uh, transparency and a lack of opportunity for uh, people to participate in the Google environment. It was really kind of a, a walled garden and a bit of a, a closed uh, ecosystem. And so uh, we wanted to change that. And so we started uh, thinking about pre-search actually back in 2013, 2014. Uh, built kind of a, a rudimentary version of pre-search. And then in uh, 2017, uh, with the rise of Ethereum, we realized that there was a really interesting model that we could take where we could basically reward people with pre-search tokens uh, to use the search engine. And then we could use those uh, same tokens as the payment mechanism for advertising on the platform. And uh, so the project was, was born and uh, launched in July 2017. Uh, we had a pretty successful crowd sale, and uh, then we really began building. Uh, we've added some amazing people uh, onto our advisory team on the, the tech side and uh, legal side. We have Trey Granger, uh, Rich Screnta, uh, and, uh, sorry, Addison, Cameron Huff. Uh, who were really kind of integral in the early days. And then we have some, some fantastic uh, newer advisors as well, like uh, Tim Anneking, who we'll be uh, uh, introducing in some later webinars. So this is really the uh, timeline on the project. We did the crowd sale in 2017 uh, in the summer. Uh, we launched the platform in uh, November of 2017. And then uh, in, in, I guess it was May 2018, we opened up the platform to general use and we launched a referral program that really kind of blew up actually. And uh, with, within uh, a year, we had already reached over a million users. 
Uh, in December of last year, 2019, we launched a new search engine called DSearch, uh, which has really enabled us to now have uh, a search results interface and uh, it's kind of one of the last things that we needed so that we could close the loop on our token economy, which we've now done with uh, this uh, platform that we're going to be talking about, which is uh, research keyword staking. And so we have had some pretty tremendous user growth, as we said. Uh, and we are shooting towards uh, 5 million users uh, by the end of 2020. That's the goal. Uh, so as more people become uh, users of the, the platform, obviously the value of uh, keyword staking increases significantly as well. Uh, so just a, a couple of uh, general stats for you, but uh, of our active members, about 75% use pre-search on a daily basis. So that's uh, you know a really fantastic number. Many people uh, set it as their default search engine. They might set it as their start page as well. Uh, and then that is le leading to more than 10 million visits per month currently, which is again, a, a pretty huge number, especially if you kind of put that in perspective with the other blockchain projects, uh, it really puts us actually into the, the top five just after uh, CoinMarketCap, Coinbase and Binance. Uh, so it's a, a pretty phenomenal start for a, a pretty grassroots project that uh, has really been driven more by the community than by some of the large corporate interests. And so who is it that's using pre-search? Uh, we've got obviously a lot of, of pretty uh, phenomenal people, uh, but some general themes uh, across the, uh, the, the group. They're cryptocurrency enthusiasts. A lot of them are web workers, so they're spending a lot of time on the internet every single day. And a lot of them are power users. They want to be able to uh, customize their experience and really uh, optimize their workflows. So uh, it's a pretty phenomenal demographic of people. Uh, a lot of really uh, great early adopters and people who have been helping us spread the word organically. And uh, so it's also there, therefore a really valuable audience that uh, marketers might want to reach and sponsors. So some of the reasons that people use pre-search, obviously we have rewards, which is a huge thing. Uh, so uh, we currently pay uh, 0.25 to 0.5 pre-tokens uh, every time you search, up to uh, eight pre-tokens per day. Uh, we do preserve and protect your privacy. We do not store uh, any of your searches. Uh, there's really very limited information. We're not doing any kind of uh, tracking. Uh, we're obviously huge on community. That is one of the, the core tenets of the project. Uh, we want to have an open, transparent community, uh, one that is helping to build this platform out. This is really uh, the people's search engine. We are not looking to replicate uh, what exists uh, in many of the, the largest uh, services on the web where they're totally centralized, controlled by just a handful of people. And there's really no input from the outside world. Uh, so that's uh, another huge reason that people have been joining us. And then customization is uh, obviously a really important thing to a lot of people. They don't want to just have vanilla search results. They want to be able to customize it to meet their needs. And so how do people use Research. Uh, so, as I mentioned, we do have a, a series of browser extensions. Uh, you can use PreSearch in uh, Firefox, Chrome, and Brave uh, through those extensions. Uh, we do have a new Android app as well that's out. Uh, but basically, people are entering their search term. They're putting. They're choosing their uh, search engine where they want to direct their query. Uh, and that's really one of the, the core differences with pre-search to other uh, search engines where you really kind of only have one result interface. With pre-search, it's basically a federated search field that we can all access and we can basically direct our queries into whichever search resource uh, suits us best at that moment. So it might be uh, the pre-search engine, uh, which is, is D-Search, it could be Google, uh, it could be Etherscan if you're looking up a, uh, an Ethereum address. And it's just a, a really fast, easy way to direct your query to wherever you would like it to uh, uh, be used. And uh, then obviously they use uh, and, and view the search results. And uh, so that provides us with a, a pretty interesting sponsorship opportunity. 
Uh, it's a way to basically have your ad displayed when somebody's searching. Uh, and in this interface that you're looking at right now, this is kind of a, a, an interstitial page or a, a pop-up page that shows up as people are searching on external engines like Google, DuckDuckGo, uh, or dozens of other resources. And then we have this uh, result uh, look as well when they're searching on vSearch. So it's actually integrated right into the search results uh, at the very top of the results. And so what we're really talking about here with, with this platform, uh, keyword staking and uh, really what we're, we're talking about in general as being actually the economic engine of the internet is something called contextual keyword advertising. And so that's the opportunity to have a text ad displayed at the moment that somebody has entered a specific search term. It's an incredibly valuable uh, category or, or space on the, the net. Uh, more than $100 billion is generated by keyword advertising every year. Uh, it's extremely targeted because you have people that are actually uh, entering what it is that they're, they're looking for. Uh, so you can see how you can serve their needs as a sponsor. And then uh, finally, they're often ready to buy, which is really important if you're looking at the monetized traffic or have people take action. These are people who are looking for information. They're uh, kind of along a, an information discovery journey, and you have the opportunity to connect with them as they're at that very critical juncture where they're, they're looking for information on a specific uh, word or phrase. And so that really brings us to keyword staking. Uh, and uh, so we're going to talk about that and then how you can benefit from this uh, pretty incredible opportunity. So with keyword staking, we're combining three really powerful elements, which is, is kind of traditional staking, which is uh, something uh, from within the cryptocurrency world. And it's basically an opportunity to lock up your tokens. So uh, you're kind of committing them. Uh, to something or for a, a period of time in order to receive some type of reward. In this case, you're committing them to an actual keyword, and as you have them committed to that keyword, you can receive the traffic that that keyword would bring to your ad. Uh, it is, again, really targeted traffic, which is uh, super valuable. Uh, it's people who are looking for things. It's, it's uh, really not just kind of general web traffic where you're interrupting somebody's, uh, you know, just browsing on the web. You are actually able to, to know what they're looking for and so you can serve something up that matches their keyword. And so these three really powerful elements uh, are combined into this keyword staking model. Uh, I've actually just got a video here that I'm going to uh, quickly play. It's just over a minute. And it's just a, a bit of an introduction to keyword staking. So I, I'm hoping that the, uh, the sound is going to come through. Uh, if it doesn't, I apologize. Introducing pre-search keywords. It's a revolutionary new concept pioneered by pre-search that builds the world's first decentralized search engine framework. With pre-search keyword staking, you choose a keyword and then stake pre-tokens that you purchased or earned against that term. While the tokens are staked, you continue to own and control your free, and you'll see free traffic on the keywords here as long as you maintain the stake. You can then simply create an ad that links to the website of your choice. This is how it works. A user types in a keyword or key phrase. The ad server will look to find any ads where the advertiser has used the exact term as their term. And it will look to see how many free tokens are staked or blocked on the keyword. If your advertiser has staked the most free, we'll have their ad display. It's a simple system to start, and because of that, it provides many opportunities to capture qualified search traffic at no or low cost. If you're looking to profit from your free tokens, you can put them to work, sending you traffic that you can direct to thousands of different affiliate programs that pay you in cash or cryptocurrency. To learn more and stake your keywords today, visit keywords.presearch.org. <laughs> So I, I hope that uh, that came through all right. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to uh, really watch the video and you want to, it is available on keywords.presearch.org. Okay, see that? Yeah, you could barely hear it. My apologies. Okay, so next. 
So uh, we're going to just quickly look at a, the existing uh, keyword uh, advertising opportunity, and, and really, you know, I think a great way to sum it up is actually that it's upside down, and uh, it, it's interesting actually as we develop this platform we've realized just how powerful our model is in uh, relation to the current uh, keyword paradigm. Uh, so, so some of the challenges of uh, keyword advertising in, in traditional systems, uh, super expensive uh, clicks are, are multiple dollars up to you know hundreds of dollars per click. That then brings about this huge challenge of click fraud where you have uh, actually sometimes competitors clicking on your ads to drive up your budget. Uh, the way that it's been done with uh, the targeting across all these different platforms is really intrusive. A lot of people don't like the fact that they'll go on to uh, a, a search engine, they'll search for something, and then they'll have ads follow them around for weeks on end about that thing that they looked for. So, uh, you know, a little bit, a uh, little bit strange. But more than that, in in this context as well. It's just actually that it's pretty confusing, and I'm going to just show you here. Uh, this is just an example of uh, Google, for instance, and there are multiple keyword advertising uh, platforms. Uh, but the number of options that are available uh, and, and really kind of the, the depth of the platform uh, because of, of kind of the use and uh, the scale of it, it's a mature platform, it's extremely complex. Uh, and you've actually got this really kind of separate and disjointed experience where you're, you're doing like keywords in this platform. Uh, you got to think of them, uh, hope that you're coming up with something that's you know going to be uh, relevant to people. Uh, you got tons of power, but it's it's you know honestly you pretty much need to be an expert in order to uh, learn how to use the the system. Uh, so it's it's you know a bit of a challenge. Uh, and so what that really provides us with is this huge opportunity to revisit search ads and not have a legacy that we have to support. We can totally reinvent the paradigm, and that's actually what we've done with uh, keyword staking. So we basically flipped the script and uh, excited to really show you uh, why it's so different. So uh, with Research keyword staking, we do respect privacy. We aren't doing targeting. We aren't doing uh, retargeting. We're not following you around. We're not building profiles on you. It is just simple, straight up keyword advertising. You search for something, and that gives somebody an opportunity to put an ad in front of you, but we're not combining that with you know, your purchase history or your behavior or uh, any of these other uh, kind of deep data points that other uh, search engines and other platforms are, are leveraging against their audience in order to really increase the monetization. Uh, in this case, and, and for the rest of uh, 2020, uh, it's actually free for stakers. So, so you, if you have pre-search tokens, uh, you can stake them, and the traffic that you receive doesn't cost you anything. There's no cost per click. There's no cost per action. There's no cost per thousand impressions. Uh, it's simply uh, you committing your, your uh, pre-search tokens to a specific keyword and then receiving the benefit of that traffic as long as you are the top staker. Uh, this obviously limits uh, fraud. There's really no issue with that. There's no incentive for somebody to try to run up your bills or anything like that. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail. Uh, and, and then obviously you know, one of the, the key points is that it's intuitive. Uh, so, as far as how we respect users, again, no tracking, no profiling, no personalization. We, we don't need to, and uh, one of the other up-and-coming search engines right now, DuckDuckGo, uh, the founder has come out and, and really been pretty adamant that you really don't need to track people in order to do really well with keyword advertising, and uh, we're certainly of the same mindset, and we're excited just to uh, bring to the world this really kind of a uh, clean model that uh, respects people and their right to privacy and to their own data. Again, free traffic for stakers, uh, no charge on the clicks until January 2021. Uh, you buy pre, you stake it against keywords. Whoever stakes the most gets the traffic. You continue to own and control your pre tokens. 
and then you can sell it at any time, which is why we can say that it's it's basically free traffic. If you are uh, staking and uh, you decide that you don't want to stake, then you can pull your tokens out and sell them on the open market. Uh, so it's a, a pretty incredible opportunity. Uh, with the, the risk of fraud again, no incentive. Uh, all the value is focused on the pre-token. So what's really phenomenal is that even if somebody is outbidding you, uh, what they're doing is they're putting more value on the same pre-search token that you earn and that you own. So uh, it's really kind of this rising tide lifting all boats type scenario. So it's uh, pretty unique in uh, any other type of auction-based model. Uh, you know, people can drive up the price and that can, you know, obviously uh, affect your ability to, to, you know, market. But what's, you know, really, uh, is you, there's no benefit to you if that happens. In this case, if we have a whole flood of people staking tokens and they're out staking you, what that means is more demand for the token, which means more ability uh, to resell the tokens that you have. So you're, you're kind of benefiting one way or another, which is, is really uh, quite unique. And then the biggest thing really to, to me is this intuitive user experience. Uh, when I say we're flipping the script, we're totally flipping the, the actual interaction with keyword advertising and with creating keyword ads, it's really more about finding traffic opportunities. And again, this is kind of a, a blue sky opportunity. Uh, we've got a, a ton of tokens already staked over the past week, more than 30 million, but that's across less than 1,500 words. There are thousands and thousands of really high value words that people are searching for that have not been staked that you can stake for as little as a thousand pre-search tokens which is uh, 30 bucks uh, currently so pretty pretty amazing opportunity uh, but what is really unique is the way that it's done and that's what i'm so excited to show you so we're, we're going to go through something that uh, is is almost kind of evolving into uh, something that I, i'm thinking of as as uh, you know traffic testing or traffic tasting uh, it's a, a way to basically identify, uh, based on things that you might already be interested in and have some knowledge about, uh, traffic opportunities, and then how you can start to connect the dots, uh, rather than kind of try to do this ground up model where, uh, let's say, with a, a traditional, uh, you know, keyword advertising opportunity, you basically have to find a way to monetize traffic. Okay, you've got a way to monetize it. Now you're trying to figure out how to actually get the traffic, and once you have it, then you've got to kind of make things merge. And uh, the way that we're doing it is totally different because it is more of this uh, kind of top-down approach, which is, is really interesting. It, as you are searching, uh, you're identifying opportunities, and then you can identify if there's traffic. And then if there is traffic, then you find a way to monetize it or to create value from that traffic. Uh, so let me uh, take a minute here and I'm gonna show you how it works. So I am hopeful that uh, this is now going to show my screen. Can somebody just confirm for me in, uh, in the chat that you can now see uh, my pre-search homepage? Okay, fantastic, thanks so much. So. Uh, what is uh, really interesting is, is how we can enable you to identify these opportunities. So uh, I'm using the Brave browser right now. Uh, we've got, again, browser extensions for, uh, for Brave, Chrome, and Firefox currently. Uh, I believe actually the Chrome ones uh, should work in Edge as well. And if you are using Brave, that's actually uh, something just to be aware of. There isn't really a Brave extension store. Uh, Brave is based on Chrome, so you actually just go and get the Chrome extensions and you add it to your Brave browser. Uh, so I've currently got right now three different extensions running. Uh, you can see them in the, the top right uh, corner of my browser here. So I've got one that uh, sets pre-search as my default search engine. So if I search through the, the browser bar, uh, I've got another one here that sets it as my home page so that when I launch my browser, I'm automatically getting presearch.org. And then there's this other one that uh, one of our community members built, actually. It's not an official uh, pre-search extension, but 
uh, it's come to our attention and it's very handy and it's called uh, one click staking. And so uh, if you go in, you get your browser configured, you get these three extensions set up, then you'll be all set to really take advantage of this opportunity. So for instance, let's say I wanted to uh, do a search for uh, Ethereum. So I run my search, it's going to kick me over to uh, the DSearch results page. And what I can see here, so the, the top result is the one that is provided through keyword staking. So somebody is currently staking the term Ethereum, which makes sense. Looks like they're directing it to a, uh, a Kraken URL. Uh, let me just show you real quick uh, a term that doesn't have uh, a search term. Here's, here's our hometown here. Uh, uh, Midland, Ontario. So this one is not currently being staked. Uh, so anytime a, t a term is not being staked, you're going to see this ad here that says, want free traffic, your ad here. And if you actually just click it, it's basically going to automatically launch you into the form that you're going to use to start staking keywords. So to do that, uh, now we've got Midland, Ontario as the term. You can see over here uh, that there's nobody currently staking it. So that's why it says current top stake of none. Uh, the minimum to stake per keyword is currently 1,000 pre, uh, but uh, you know that increases depending on uh, the, the term and the number of people that are, are kind of competing for it. Uh, and so if you need pre, uh, you might already have some. You might have uh, some that you've earned. You might have some that you've uh, purchased already in a, in a crowd sale or on an exchange. In that case, you're going to want to hit the uh, transfer pre-tokens uh, icon. That's going to launch a new page. And then you're going to choose which method you want to transfer your pre into the platform. So if you've already purchased it in the crowd sale, you're going to use the far right icon. It's going to uh, ask you to connect to your, your in initial crowd sale portal account. If you have it in your rewards, it's going to give you the opportunity to transfer up to 1,000 pre per quarter, uh, depending on uh, the pre level that you have. Uh, and then if you already have pre on the blockchain, uh, you can utilize the blockchain link and then uh, transfer pre into your account that way. It will just give you uh, a, a wallet address or a QR code that you can send to. Um, so if you don't already have pre, you can click this buy pre button here. Uh, that then gives you basically the, the two main options for how to buy pre. So one is through uh, a third party. Uh, if you click this, this will take you to uh, an outside uh, medium article that explains uh, how you can get pre uh, on all the different uh, platforms. And uh, so, so if you're looking to do it that way, that's, uh, that's the information source for you. Or if you're looking to buy it, uh, you know, kind of direct from the project in a really direct and easy way, you can use the token marketplace. It will kick you out uh, to this system here. You click buy tokens, you enter the number of tokens that you want to purchase, choose your payment method, and then you proceed with your purchase. As soon as your transaction is confirmed, then your uh, pre-search tokens will show up automatically uh, in the keyword staking portal. So they would show up right here. Uh, you can hit this little uh, icon here to refresh your balance if uh, you've somehow transferred some in or purchased more using these two buttons. So once you've got your tokens to stake and you know the amount that you want to stake, then you choose your uh, outbid notification frequency. So if you want to be notified every single time somebody else outstakes you, you can leave it like that. If you want a daily summary, weekly, monthly, or never, uh, those are your options. You can then enter your headline for your ad, uh, put in a description, and then the link out to the URL. Uh, I'm not going to go into huge detail right now because we've got some, some screens later on that will go into this. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you uh, using this uh, one-click staking extension an even easier way to do it. So if you have that extension installed in your browser, Rather than having to enter in all that information, what you can actually do, and this is a really great and easy way to taste the traffic. 
So uh, you might not already have an affiliate offer in mind. You, you don't want to, you know, even have to think about coming up with an ad title and an ad description. What you can actually do is you can just scan through the results here and you can see whichever one you think might be, you know, a decent user experience, might be relevant to the audience of people who are, are surfing. And uh, you can actually then, as you hover over it, you'll see it turns blue. And then over to the far left, there's this little pre-search pre pre keyword staking icon. And so if you actually just click that, it's a, a one-click ad setup. So rather than everything you know, needing to be entered by you, it's now going to automatically take the title from that search result. It's going to take the description from that search result, and it's going to take the ad URL. So if I now uh, select that term, I'm going to click Next. Congratulations. That, that's it. That's how easily I have now staked a word. Uh, and now I would receive uh, the information on the traffic that that term receives. So if I run another search here for Midland, Ontario, you'll, you'll see now that that default ad, oh, it's gone. Now it's my ad that's in here. It's using Wikipedia, which is relevant to users. There's, you know, a, a decent user experience. It took me two seconds to set it up. And now if I actually go into my uh, pre-search keyword staking dashboard, which is keywords.presearch.org, I give that a refresh, you're going to see that I've got another term here, uh, which is Midland, Ontario. You can see my destination URL. And I'm now starting to receive traffic information. Yes, I'm the number one ad currently. There's been two views on it already. And somebody has already clicked it, probably one of you guys. And so now that I have a sense for what kind of traffic is there, now I can think about all the ways that I could put that traffic to use. And so again, we've really kind of flipped the actual process where as you're searching, you have an opportunity to basically pin any result to the top of the search results uh, to gain traffic that you can monetize or that you can use for other purposes. It's a pretty incredible uh, and very powerful uh, system. So we're, we're going to go a little bit more into some of the details on how it, it works and how you can leverage it for, for some of the different opportunities. But this is really the, the core of everything. And this is, you know, it's so simple. Uh, you know, we can explain this in two minutes. And so you can just imagine what the uptake is going to be as this really takes off, we're really excited and we're really impressed already with the amount of usage. Uh, we've got more than 30 million pre-search tokens that have already been staked in just the past eight or nine days. Uh, we've got about 1,500 keywords or so that people have staked and we have had people uh, coming in and reporting, wow, I got 10,000 views already and I got a couple of hundred clicks and it actually costs them nothing for that traffic. They can cancel their ad at any time, take their pre-search tokens, move it out to another platform and sell them if they want to. Or they can uh, you know, build out a, a, an entire uh, agency business helping to onboard local businesses, crypto projects, any of the different uh, entities that might want you know, cheap or free traffic. And so it's, uh, again, a really unique opportunity and because we already have 10 million visits, 10 million searches per month, there's already huge traffic. You can see right here, this is uh, the default ad uh, that shows up. It's uh, in here. So, you know, in the past eight, nine days, this is now not taking into account any of the ads that have uh, been displayed for all the people that have done all the staking, which is a lot of really big terms, you know, things like Bitcoin and Ethereum and those types of terms. There's already 1.6 million uh, views on this ad and 12,000 clicks. And so you can see kind of the, the value of that traffic. And it's only going to continue to grow. We are just in the earliest days uh, up until really the past month and, and really just still even, we haven't really even tried to attract more traffic. Until we launched DSearch in 20, at the end of 2019, traffic was costing us $7.50 per 1,000 queries through an API that we were using. So we didn't want more traffic. It was, it was costing us a ton of money. 
Now we have turned that into actually a profit center, and now it's kind of the hub of this opportunity. And so we're really going to be actively trying to drive traffic to it. And we've got some really interesting ways that we're going to be doing that. So uh, this is kind of a, an interesting land rush opportunity right now. Uh, you know, not that many people know about it. I mean, we've, we've got like, you know, 100 people on this webinar. It's, it's really, you know, still so under the radar. So, uh, you know, kudos to all of you guys who are on this webinar and know what's happening and especially those of you who've already bought free tokens. Uh, some of you uh, got them at a fantastic discount, up to like a 20x discount uh, within the past month. So, uh, you know, congratulations. Uh, but thank you for helping us to build this platform and build and spread this opportunity. It is just something that uh, I'm incredibly passionate about and we are super excited to, to tell the world about now. So. Uh, I'm going to jump back into uh, the slide deck here. Uh, actually, maybe before I do that, I'll just give you a, a quick, and again, this platform is so easy uh, that uh, there isn't really even that much to show. It's just kind of, you know, power harnessed. But if you look at uh, uh, any type of term, uh, so this is, uh, you know, uh, keywords.research.org. So if you are just on uh, presearch.org, uh, there is a link in the top that says keyword staking. Uh, so if we, we go back to uh, the home page of research, you'll see it uh, right there. If I hit keyword staking, that's going to take me uh, into this platform. I can do it this way as well, which is a little bit different than uh, uh, where you're actually browsing the web and you're kind of identifying opportunities based on your own usage. Uh, this one is more, you know, if you're trying to brainstorm things and come up with ideas, you can start entering your, your keywords in here, and then you can see, like, you know, nobody's, nobody's staking right now the term testing. I can tell you that I use that term all the time in demos. Somebody should be staking that term because they're going to get views and traffic on their ads. So uh, once I've done that, uh, in this interface, I can see, okay, nobody is staking it, uh, and I can see that there's therefore no max stake. I then click the stake this button. Uh, I'm going to just do the bare minimum of a thousand. Uh, I'm going to just say testing, you know, testing description, and testing.com is going to be the URL that I'm going to throw in just for demonstration purposes. I agree to the terms, and my ad is now in place. Uh, so I want to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to see that term now, and if I actually search for that term, uh, it will show me probably that there's there's already been some some views. So if I go to testing, here's my ad, and I'm going to go back to keywords. And there we go. There's already been a couple of views on it. Again, probably myself and you guys. So, uh, so yeah, super, super easy to do that. Uh, here, I've just canceled my stake. So you can now see that my, my balance is actually increasing. I'm going to get rid of my uh, Lynn Ontario stake as well. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's basically how the platform works. Uh, pretty intuitive, pretty simple great opportunity to get traffic and then match it up to uh, different offers. So really the two main use cases that we've identified off the bat, affiliate monetization and promoting important messages. Those, those are really the two key uh, opportunities here. One is really more, you know, profit oriented. The other one is really more, you know, kind of social good uh, oriented. So if we look at affiliate marketing, Basically, what we're doing is we're trying to identify keywords that have traffic. We're trying to find then uh, affiliate opportunities. There's some amazing opportunities if you actually just go onto research and search for you know affiliate programs. You, you'll see tons. There are literally thousands, and it's a really unique opportunity in time because 20 years ago, you know, when Google launched, uh, there really weren't that many affiliate opportunities, and so we are launching in this environment where we have a way where people can really easily monetize keyword traffic 
without having to build an entire business, figure out all the logistics and all the other things that are involved, you can literally go onto a site like, like Max Bounty and find out, you know, all these different uh, affiliate programs. You sign up for them. It's usually just filling out a simple form. Once you, you do that, they give you your tracking link. In some cases, you're getting like 50% of the revenue. It's insane. And so you don't have to do all the work. You just become the person who is providing traffic to all these existing businesses, and then you let them do all the hard work. Let them run the business. Let them do customer support. Let them do all the other things that are required to build credibility and build out a conversion funnel and all the stuff that's required to actually convert traffic into dollars. You just leverage your knowledge of this opportunity to drive people into those offers. And so, again, how I would be doing this, if I were you, I would be uh, then j just starting off with either the one-click staking or just, you know, any type of traffic tasting. And then after I found, you know, an ad with traffic, after I found a relevant affiliate opportunity, then I would go in and I would replace my placeholder ad with my actual affiliate ad. So uh, you would just go in, you click edit, you change the title, uh, you know, we're going to have a lot of resources in the near future on, uh, you know, different uh, techniques for, for generating ads that convert and for how to use, uh, you know, affiliate uh, conversion techniques. Uh, so we'll, we'll be sharing that. Um, but to start, you know, just pick something that seems intuitive to you. What would you click on if, if there was an ad? Uh, you know, how could you phrase your offer in a way that might be enticing to somebody? Start there for now. Uh, so once you've done that, then you're going to moni monitor your traffic and you're going to try to actually increase it. And there are some tools that we can give you to actually drive more traffic uh, to your ad, which is, is really powerful. Uh, again, we'll be doing another webinar specifically on that just to show you how, that, how you can, as a, a, a user, as a uh, staker, drive traffic and, and create more value for your free tokens, create more value for your, uh, your ads. And, and then really, you know, the final step is that you're just receiving your affiliate payments. Some of them pay you through PayPal. Some of it is, is in cryptocurrency. Uh, other times it's, uh, you know, more traditional, you know, direct bank transfers. But it's a heck of a lot easier than running a business, I can tell you that. And uh, this opportunity is out there for, for everybody on this webinar. So uh, really excited about that and excited to go into more detail, uh, but wanted to give you a high-level overview of the affiliate opportunity. Uh, next is this really, you know, and, and this is really resonating with me actually, uh, you know, it's promoting important messages. And so you've kind of got two things from like a traffic standpoint. You've got your traffic that is, it has commercial intent it would be probably fairly easy to monetize uh, because, you know, there's affiliate offers and there's, you know, competitive businesses that want your traffic. But there are other things that, you know, might not be monetizable. It might not be something that's commercial uh, in nature. It might be something that is more generic, uh, but possibly even more meaningful. Uh, so, you know, there is a lot of controversy out there these days. There, there are a lot of things uh, that I know a lot of our users are kind of feeling. There's like, you know, an agenda uh, that's been promoted in, in big technology and in the media. And uh, some people have been, you know, uh, looking at different information, different sources of information, and they've actually come to different conclusions. It could be about things like, you know, world events. It could be about world history. It could be about, uh, you know, some of the the trials and tribulations of humanity, some of the things that are holding us back, anything from, you know, health and wealth to personal growth. And sometimes those uh, alternative viewpoints don't get the airplay that the more traditional viewpoints get because there's kind of this vested interest. There's this whole system of control or economy that is built up around, you know, the status quo. And so, uh, what we're doing right now, you know, we're leveraging basically third-party API to generate our search results. The end goal is to have the community able to actually curate those search results and, and basically override that bias. But in the meantime, there's a really easy way to do it by staking your keywords. So let's say you've got a term like, uh, you know, something really controversial, climate change. 
maybe you have an alternative viewpoint. Maybe you think it's actually more about solar output and, you know, we're actually going into a, a period of a solar minimum right now. Therefore, you know, global warming is not necessarily the issue or maybe, you know, yes, we need to do lots about pollution, uh, but maybe, you know, the, the carbon dioxide argument is not what you are, you know, identifying with. Well, if you want to promote that message, you could go in and stake a word like climate change. You could put in a, a you know, headline like, you know, wants a different viewpoint on climate change, and you can link out to any of the resources that you find valuable. So it's a really interesting opportunity to get these important messages out to this demographic of users. A lot of people that are already fairly, you know, alternative oriented, open-minded, looking for different, you know, viewpoints, looking for different opportunities. And now you have a way, just by staking tokens, that you can reach them with that top slot on the search results page. It's, it's incredibly valuable. It's, it's a huge opportunity. Uh, so, uh, you know, you could do it through uh, just general content links. You could be promoting worthy causes, nonprofits, uh, any of the suppressed or censored information that you've come across. Uh, you know, what we're, we're hoping, obviously, is that we're getting credible information sources and things that are adding value to the user base, but ultimately, it's the community that is deciding this. And what's really interesting about this model is we do not need to act as a central point of authority and be somebody who's in there censoring results. The community can identify, hey, this is, you know, a scam link or, hey, this is, you know, total BS, whatever it is. And you can actually rally people around, you know, staking more tokens than that person and outstaking them and removing their ads. So that the community can basically police itself through the power of its pre. So uh, really excited about how this has all come together. Uh, some of it, honestly, uh, I gotta say was not planned. Some of it, you know, we, we've kind of been going uh, in an iterative fashion. Uh, we've been identifying, you know, kind of glitches in the matrix, but uh, you know, this kind of just keeps getting better and better so that we're realizing, wow, this is actually an incredibly powerful model that avoids a lot of the issues associated with some of the traditional status quo uh, options and uh, really solves a lot of the challenges that a lot of our community members have identified and, and really are struggling against. So uh, we're just really excited about how it's evolved and we're excited that you guys are able to participate. Uh, so again, great results so far, nine days in, more than 30 million tokens staked already. Uh, that's like, you know, a, a pretty huge, it's, it's more than 15% of our, our total supply already, uh, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, and we've had more than 50,000 clicks already uh, on, on ads. So, I mean, there's tons of value that's being uh, propagated out through this opportunity already and we are just getting started so uh, really excited for all of you to be able to participate and uh, to help us as we we grow this platform so if I can just recap in a few points uh, you know a few key takeaways we pretty much reinvented the search advertising experience uh, we're going to get into some more detail in another webinar and, and I'll just show you how different this opportunity is compared to the current search paradigm, it is like night and day. And I have no doubt that this is going to absolutely blow up because of how easy it is to use. Uh, significant opportunity for you guys to profit if you're using affiliate monetization techniques. Great opportunity to promote alternatives and, and important messages. Uh, we are growing really rapidly. We're looking to uh, eclipse 5 million users in 2020, which we think is totally doable. Uh, and then really for you, you can participate. That's the, the cool thing. You can buy free tokens and, and benefit from uh, the use of the platform. You can join Telegram, t.me slash presearch, and help us really you know, evolve this platform. Uh, a lot of these ideas and a lot of, of the, uh, the interfaces, everything, is actually come from community members. What we're basically doing is helping you build the search engine of your vision. So uh, just, you know, really excited about this opportunity to steward this, this project and, and super grateful to all of you for 
having the belief and trust and faith in us doing something really good with this opportunity for the world and uh, looking forward to some amazing stuff ahead. Ultimately, we are going to build a decentralized search engine. We're figuring out the token economy right now, which is the first step. Then it's all about the technology. It's going to be a platform that respects users, that rewards them, that provides you with choice. And really, now that we've got this new uh, system in place that provides tremendous opportunity as well. So uh, thank you to all of the amazing community members who have been with us for uh, you know months and years. Uh, it really does mean a lot. And uh, thank you to our admins. Thank you to uh, those who've helped us evolve the product. Thanks to those who are helping to spread the word. Uh, just honestly couldn't be more grateful to you all uh, that we're here where we are right now, kind of on the cusp of really doing some incredible things uh, in the, the cryptocurrency and, and information space. And it's something that is just so needed and so timely. So uh, thank you all for seeing the vision and help us bring it to life. So I would like to uh, open it up to some uh, questions. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see here, there's a, a little chat, uh, probably some, some questions in here that I haven't been able to get to yet. So I'm going to head on over one second. Okay, there's my questions. Okay, so I'll run through these. Uh, we've got about uh, 10 minutes uh, coming up on the hour here. So uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to uh, just type them in. There's a little uh, uh, Q&A chat button that you can uh, utilize. I'll do my best to, uh, to answer uh, as many questions as possible. Uh, and if there's anything that's missed, then please join us in telegram t.me slash presearch. Uh, afterwards. Uh, so we've got a question here about our uh, algorithm. This is kind of not really related to this, but I'll, I'll cover it anyways. How does the algorithm increase or decrease the level of a, of a user? Uh, we can't really get into, you know, extreme detail aside from basically saying that, uh, you know, it's, it's doing pattern uh, recognition. Uh, it has a fairly long uh, window. Uh, to identify different patterns, uh, and it, it's basically, you know, looking at how people's timestamps. That's it. We're not, we're not looking at search terms. We're not looking at anything like that. It's, it's, you know, based on kind of how you're searching, basically, uh, and uh, it's something that is, you know, fully automated. And it basically just behind the scenes is, you know, once a week it kind of crunches all these patterns, and it's really just a confidence score. It's not saying, you know anything personal, it, it, it doesn't know exactly what you're doing. It's, it's nothing personal. It's just saying, you know, based on these patterns, this is my confidence uh, that this person is not just trying to accumulate tokens. And, you know, it's something that we had to build because tons of people were just going in there every day, click, 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 click. No value to the platform for people doing that. No value to sponsors, consuming huge system resources, consuming tokens, and it was really, you know, unfortunately a big problem. We tried to launch without it, and then it, it very quickly became obvious that we needed to roll it out. So we did. Uh, so hopefully that answers that. There's a whole blog post on it uh, on Medium, and uh, happy to carry the conversation through into Telegram. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, somebody looking to, to know about SEO, would they have more opportunity to earn than the average joke? Possibly, definitely, because you, you, you might be, you know, familiar with some of the things like, uh, you know, writing ads and, and copywriting and, and, you know, conversion, uh, identifying opportunities. But truthfully, this is such a different paradigm compared to traditional, uh, you know, SEO and SEM that, you know, you, you might be best to have a, a fresh mind. I don't really know at this point. Um, there's, there's just tremendous opportunity for everybody, and I would say there's a pretty level playing field because this is a whole new opportunity that nobody has really had access to for more than a week. So uh, it's, uh, it's something that everybody can take advantage of. Uh, let's see. Question here. Uh, member from, uh, I believe, it's our Spanish community. 
Uh, for staking, is it useful for users at website platform? Uh, my question, some, yeah, so, so, so really, and I hope I answered the question uh, there talking about, you know, promoting uh, important messages, but basically kind of the, the, the two things are you're looking to, you know, monetize through, through an affiliate uh, opportunity. You are looking to promote your own existing website, something or, or you know, an associated website, a family or friend, uh, or you're looking to promote uh, an important message. Those are really the three kind of use cases. Uh, let's see here. Dude, that one-click extension is awesome. I, I agree. Uh, definitely excited that a uh, community member has, has built that. Somebody's uh, got a question. Are uh, not safe for work links and terms allowed, uh, pornographic ones? So it, it's kind of an interesting question because there is actually a lot of censorship that happens through the, the big tech platforms right now. Uh, they don't uh, allow, you know, some cryptocurrency ads. They don't allow uh, adult ads. They might not allow cannabis or CBD. Uh, so in this case, we're basically taking a pretty free market hands-off approach. Yes, all those terms are available. If you read and when you go to create an ad, there's at the very bottom, because I agree to the terms, and then there's a link. I suggest that you read that link and specifically, you know, you can just do a search for adult or any of those other uh, types of terms you might be interested in, uh, and it's got fairly specific information about how we handle those, but basically as long as you are advertising a relevant, uh, you know, add to the term, then that's okay. If you're doing, you know, a pornographic ad to a non-pornographic term, no, definitely not okay. If you're doing, you know, something that's promoting, you know, violence or, or anything like, like that, uh, those are not okay, uh, but in general, if the term is aligned with the ad, then it's okay. So I hope that uh, answers the uh, the question. Um, and the nice thing is, I mean, they're tech ads. I mean, it's it's not going to like you know. I don't think really shock people uh, with visual graphics or anything. Uh, we are currently uh, allowing the the use of uh, you know certain. Uh, terms, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to, you know, not, a, a, again, disrupt the user experience. So words that might be a little bit more controversial uh, and banned in, in other platforms are allowed here. Uh, you know, any of like your, your most kind of profane words, those ones, uh, you know, uh, definitely avoid those. Uh, but in general, you know, we're being fairly libertarian in our approach to the, uh, the platform. Uh, what is the plan to bring the search engine to the masses that use Google? Uh, great question. Uh, obviously, a pretty pretty broad one. Uh, we're we're targeting really to start kind of the early adopters who uh, are already behind the platform. There's you know a huge demographic of people who are uh, you know cryptocurrency enthusiasts. There's a lot of people that are privacy advocates. Those are kind of the two core demographics currently. Uh, there's definitely a lot of overlap with Brave. Uh, and then beyond that, we're looking at uh, people who are, uh, you know, on the internet all the time, looking to uh, optimize their workflow. Uh, and there are a whole bunch of different ways that we're going to be able to leverage our referral program to start, uh, you know, introducing pre-search into all these different communities. So uh, I'm going to say just stay tuned. Uh, lots of information will be forthcoming. Uh, but we recognize that, you know, this is a tremendous opportunity. We need to get out there. We do need to get to the masses. Uh, and uh, we are building all the tools that we need in order to, to make that happen. Uh, so somebody's got a question. Are we not concerned about false redirects? Somebody looking for Apple redirecting them to a Samsung website? That's definitely, you know, a bit of a concern just from people being generally malicious. I don't think there's really as much of a, you know, if people are looking to convert an affiliate ad, the best thing is to have the destination landing page match your ad copy and have your ad copy match the keyword term. Uh, you, you know, anything else and you're only going to decrease your results. Uh, you know, we have an opportunity for people to outstake people uh, who are, you know, doing any type of, uh, you know, malicious activity. Uh, there will be in the next week a reporting feature uh, that's actually not going to report it to us, which I, I think this is cool. It's going to report it to the community. 
So it will be a way where, you know, uh, people can uh, bring problems to the attention of those who might be able to outstake and do something about it. We do have, you know, a number of larger token holders within the uh, platform who are really here for the long term. And they basically agreed to, you know, uh, ensure that they help this platform become big. And so they don't want to jeopardize it by trying to, uh, you know, overwhelm it. Uh, but they've got a bunch of tokens. Uh, in the long term, there's a, a leasing opportunity that they're interested in. But in the short term, they're saying, hey, I've got all these tokens. Uh, you know, if there's a problem that's, that's there, then, you know, you guys can t contact us and we'll use our tokens to outstake some of these problematic terms. So uh, I anticipate any of those issues being temporary, basically. Uh, and, you know, obviously this is going to evolve over time. Let's see. So uh, how is the privacy provided when the source is Google or the platform tracks users? Uh, does that come into research? Is it taken? So, I mean, ultimately, if, you, if you're going out to an external website, there's really not that much that we can do. Uh, ultimately, we might have something where there's a proxy built in. Uh, there are different uh, search engines that you can use through pre-search that might have that uh, type of functionality. Uh, Startpage.com, I believe, does. Uh, there, there may be others as well. So if that's like, you know, your top concern, then I would say you might want to, you know, use one of those types of services. It might be something that pre-search rolls out eventually. For now, uh, basically, when you're in our platform, when you're on presearch.org, then you know you're you're protected. We're not collecting anything. As you go out to external websites, uh, you will be exposed in the same way that you would be if you were to go directly to Google. Um, let's see. Uh, keyword seeking goes beyond seeking terms in English. This makes the opportunity huge in the future as pre-search pre spreads worldwide. Uh, absolutely on the money there, uh, Justin. That is is huge. Honestly, a lot of our usage is coming from the Spanish and Portuguese communities right now. There's a tremendous opportunity to reach those users and uh, do it in their native language with very little competition currently. Mm -hmm. And the way that the system works, it's basically looking for an exact match uh, phrase. So uh, if, if I'm in here, for instance, and so if, if I type, uh, you know, let's say I'm going to go to uh, Research and I'm going to search for Bitcoin wallet, which is a pretty uh, pretty important term. So that term basically, if I'm searching for that exactly, that's the term that somebody would be staking. But let's say nobody had staked that term. That's not the case here. But what would happen then is if nobody stakes the exact match term, it breaks that phrase into multiple single words. So in this case, it would be Bitcoin and wallet. And then the way the system works is it looks at which individual term has the highest stake. So if Bitcoin has a higher stake than wallet, it will show the ad for Bitcoin. If wallet had a bigger stake, it would show the ad for wallet. And so that's basically the way the system works. It's really quite simple. Uh, we do have information on our uh, Medium page talking about your keyword staking strategy, and we are going to have webinars that go into this in extreme detail, uh, but basically uh, you're going to, you know, want to get the exact match. So you're going to be looking for more of those long tail terms where you might have one, two, three, maybe even up to four words in a row. You can stake those words for, for a lot less than the really broad, general, top-level term like Bitcoin. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a huge opportunity. And because of the way that this works, therefore, it's term-based, it's exact character-based. So if you're searching in, you know, Russian or if you're searching in Spanish, whatever you type uh, in there as your, your term is what, if somebody else searches for that in their language, then the ad will show up. So, yeah, definitely a big one there. Uh, next question, is there a plan to expand beyond uh, expand staking beyond the top paid results if I was first or second can I have the opportunity that is a really great opportunity uh, great question and a big opportunity we do see that there there will likely be a shift over time to uh, basically more of a pro rata um, traffic kind of model so if somebody you know let's say there's uh, you know 10,000 tokens staked and somebody has 5,000 of them uh, they would get 50% of the traffic, and then two other people have, you know, two and 3,000. 
those people would get 20% and 30% and of the traffic. So that's probably the model we're going to go to and uh, just do it pro rata. It's a pretty basic way to, to do it that is, you know, quite fair. So uh, that's what we're planning. But for now, we're just going with the top stake. Um, somebody is saying how to remove pre from a staking account. Uh, uh, if you want to do that, uh, you're basically just doing a traditional withdrawal uh, through through uh, presearch.org. So you'd be basically just canceling your stakes uh, so that your tokens end up back in your account, and then you're going to do a regular withdrawal. Um, what do what do you do to tell corporate companies? Project value of advertising staking with research. Uh, good question. Uh, we are going to be doing more of these webinars. We are going to be going to be putting out more information uh, and uh, dedicated white papers talking about how specifically larger entities can use this. Uh, to start, we're going for more kind of the, the direct users, the affiliate marketers. Uh, kind of next level to that is you know crypto projects, wallets, exchanges. Uh, you know, there's 5,000 currencies on uh, coin market cap now. So those are really great targets. Um, we already have a number that are starting to adopt the, the project. Uh, and then as we go, we're basically looking for advocates, you know, people that have influence within an organization, uh, people that understand this opportunity uh, and that might want to, you know, bring this into their company. Uh, you know, before that, it's probably more about, you know, identifying agencies, affiliate marketers that have, you know, larger portfolios and, and you know, connecting with them on a more direct basis to educate them on how they can utilize the opportunity. Um, so, uh, next question, is there an alert, someone to send more pre-tokens to your keyword? Yes, there is. So, if you're in here and then you're, you're going into uh, app you're going into, let's see here, uh, testing. So if I want to uh, stake that word, you'll see right here this outbid notification frequency. So if you choose real time, as soon as somebody outbids you, you will automatically get an email that notifies you that you've been outstaked and that you have to increase your stake. Um, let's see, yeah. It, so Justin's just highlighting the fact that, you know, Comprar, sorry if I butchered that pronunciation, is buy in Spanish. Nobody has that term. Buy is a great shopping term. Absolutely, there are so many of these opportunities right now. This is such a, an early, uh, you know, stage for the the, the product and the project uh, that there's going to be, you know, some really tremendous opportunities that you guys can take advantage of. Uh, is the search audience coming from the crypto community right now? Primarily, I would say yes. Uh, it, it definitely is uh, skewing to that. And what's really interesting is everybody who's using it is earning pre-tokens, so they're effectively all becoming crypto holders. This has the opportunity to become one of the biggest on-ramps to cryptocurrency out there. It is so easy. You don't need it to start, and you can start earning your way into the crypto space. So uh, we do anticipate that there is going to be a very significant demographic of crypto users uh, always with the project, but in particular, the earliest adopters, definitely people that, that skew towards crypto. Uh, and I'm going to take one last question here uh, from Byron, uh, who is an early supporter and appreciate uh, certainly his, his contribution to the platform. Uh, his question, I'm not tech savvy, but this webinar has given me more understanding, exciting. You said rising tides lift all boats. How can others benefit from uh, pre who might not have a business or a product to sell at the moment uh, would like more education on the affiliate leveraging commercial in general. Yeah, so we, we will have some specific uh, webinars on those exact uh, implementations, how you can use it. Uh, but in the short term, honestly, if you install the one click uh, staking uh, extension, it just becomes super easy. As you're searching, you'll notice if there's an ad at the top, if there isn't, then that term is open. It means you can grab it for a thousand tokens. Then just go down your search results list and uh, find anything that might be of interest to you. Uh, you know, something that you might want to support. Click that icon, and then you, you're basically one more click away from having your your ad created. And now you can start to taste the traffic and see if people are actually searching for that term. And you can start to basically kind of get your feet wet 
and start to collect some intelligence that nobody else has about who's actually searching for those terms. So uh, yeah, definitely a great way to get started. And we will have more information in the, uh, the coming weeks and more webinars, way more webinars. This has been a lot of fun. Really appreciate you guys uh, being involved and uh, your interest in what we've been doing and your support for the project. And really excited to get this out there in a huge way. We will have a recording of this video uh, made available for everybody. We're going to uh, promote it far and wide and uh, looking forward to lots of amazing things for pre-search in the next, uh, next few weeks and months. Uh, there's some awesome stuff that's happening right now and uh, we're really just getting started. The best is yet to come. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the presentation and uh, thanks again for uh, all of your support. It is appreciated and uh, we'll see you around the uh, Telegram community, t.me slash research. Take care.